fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Last ride of the plains was the greatest champion of law and order in the early western United States. But justice meant more to him than the letter of the law. There were times when he allowed himself to be considered a criminal in order that a real criminal might receive the punishment he deserved. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Silver pointing in the trail ahead! Hail, Silver! Away! A young man stopped in front of a cell in the county jail at Kirkwood and turned to the jailer who had been his guide. Thanks, Clem. I'd like to speak to this fellow alone if you've got no objection. Reckon not. You can have five minutes. Thanks. Howdy, Snyder. You came. Sure, why not? <laughs> I see they got you in my old cell. I won't stay here. No, I guess you won't. Beginning to realize I'm not easily beaten, eh? No, that weren't what I had in mind at all. No? When I agreed you wouldn't stay here, I meant after your trial they'd be taking you out to hang. <laughs> Say, you ain't really figuring to go free, are you? I am. Just because you've denied that confession the Lone Ranger and Judge Thornton tricked you into making? That's not evidence. It won't help you none just the same. Especially after I took the stand and had my say. Yes. That's why I sent for you. Yeah? You're not going to testify. Huh? You're taking that kid of yours and clearing out. You're the only witness they've got who can hang me. With you out of the way, the case will have to be dismissed. Well, now, this is right interesting. So I'm to take Gene and pull stakes, huh? Yes. What for? Money. <laughs> Snyder, that's a good one. <laughs> I still look simple to you, do I? You fool, can't you tell when I'm serious? Oh, I reckon you're serious enough. Reckon I'd be too if I was in your boots. But I'd sure hate to have to say when you're telling the truth and when you ain't. This time I am. Uh-uh, I ain't having any. You fooled me once into telling the law it was me killed Craig. You said you'd give me $20,000 and get the judge to hand on a suspended sentence. Wait. Shut up. I confessed to what happened. Thornton, give me life. And the bank book you gave me. Showing how you'd put 20000 in the Kansas bank for me was forged. You never had no notion at all of keeping your bargain. I was just the goat. And if it hadn't been for the masked man, I'd still be where you are. No, Schneider. This time you're barking up the wrong tree. And it's just a waste of time us talking. So I'll say good day to you. And no, you won't, Brad. I'm going. Well, don't you care what happens to your daughter? What's that? There are men who still take my orders, Brad, even if I am behind bars. And I can still strike at my enemies. You threaten, Gene? It doesn't have to be that way. I'd rather it wasn't. It's for you to choose. Accept my money, disappear, or... Or what? I'll let you imagine the alternative. Why, you... Blast your hideout! Save the effort, Wallace. You can't reach me. 
If I could, I'd break your neck for you. You're turning me down? You think I'd ever do anything else? You're behaving like an idiot. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something. Yes? I'm just a no-account homesteader with a young and a careful. And no cash to my name worth mentioning. You're one of the biggest fellas in this state. At least the way you was till you was jailed. For all I know, maybe you still are. Take my word for it, Wallace. I'm still too big to be opposed by you. But if you was ten times as big and I was twice as small, I'd still tell you to go to blazes like I'm doing right now. Snyder, if it's up to me, you will hang. Wallace. Well? One of these days, you'd give anything in the world not to have said that. But then... Then what? Then it will be too late. Brad repeated the conversation he had had with Snyder to Molly Craig, daughter of the Kirkwood lawyer whom Snyder had murdered. You think he meant it, Molly? You think he can really do anything to hurt Jean sitting in jail there? Oh, I don't know. What could he do? Brad, listen, I... I wouldn't want to frighten you without cause for anything. You mean you I think... told you that I helped Father in his work. Paul lived to get evidence against Snyder and... and died because he succeeded. Yes, I know. Snyder's wealthy... He had dozens of men working for him, men who'd stop at nothing. Most have left since he got in trouble, but there must be some who'll still take his orders while he can pay. Then Jean is in danger. Brave, if I said she wasn't, I'd be lying. A skunk that would harm a young'un like her ought to be lynched. Lynching won't help if something happens to Jean first. Well, what can I do? Find the masked man. Huh? Tell him what you've told me, and if I've judged him correctly, he'll help you. He's on our side, Brad. I'd never hesitate to ask you. Molly, that's the best scheme yet. It's the only one. Sure. But how in thunder will I find him? Ted, that I don't know, but I do know this. Yeah? If I had a daughter who'd been threatened, I'd find the masked man if I had to stay in the saddle day and night. Molly, will you ride and get Jean and bring her here? Now? Yes. Of course, but, but couldn't I you... ain't got the time. I'm hunting out the masked man, and I'm starting right now. <laughs> Hi there, mister. You seen anything of a masked fellow riding a white horse and traveling with a redskin? Masked, you say? Right. Can't say that I have. What did Sorry, he... mister. If you ain't seen him, I, I gotta keep going. Get up. Get up there. The masked fellow I seen, young fellow, was a month back, and then there was three of them. Held me up and took my cash. No, and... then that weren't him. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Gosh, I've been looking for a week. Ain't nobody seen that fella? I have not, senor. Uh, then I might just as well give up. Well, thanks anyhow, friend. Si, senor, si. Come on, boy. We're heading back for Kirkwood. Get up. Nobody's seen him. I made a full circle and asked everybody I met. Just like the ground opened up and swallowed him. Brad, I... Huh? I... I... Hey, what's the matter with you? Molly, is there something wrong? We, we tried to find you, but we didn't know where to look. Hey, something is wrong. Yeah, and why ain't Jean here to say hello? Molly, didn't you get her? She sleeping? Brad, please, try, try not to get excited. Molly, what is it? Where's Jean? She... She's disappeared. What? Don't, don't worry too much, Brad. She won't be harmed. I'm sure she won't. They promised. Who that... promised? Molly, what's oh, happened? Please, I got to... I'm trying to tell you. Talk. It, it was two days ago. What was? When, when they came. It was just at supper. They came right in without knocking. They, they would have killed us if we'd tried to interfere. Who were they? We couldn't tell. They were masked. I think they were strangers. And they took Jean? Yes. Snyder. Please. The rotten, crawling coyote. I'll get him if it's no. a Let go of me. Wait, Brad, please listen. You, you oh. can't do anything. You can't. You mustn't. You'll only make things worse. Please. Let me go, I tell you. No, if you should snatter, you'll be thrown in jail. <laughs> you think I care what happens to me? I'm not thinking of you. I'm thinking of Jean. I don't... If you're in jail, what will happen to her? I don't... Oh. What am I to do, then? Nothing. Huh? Just, just hide until after Snyder's trial. When it's over, if you haven't testified... Jean will be returned. But, but if I don't testify, Snyder will go free. Yes. But he deserves hanging a thousand times over. Yes. And you'd have me save him? Not him, Brad. Jean. It's one and the same. I know. Uh, 
Molly, I, I don't know what to do. I thought there was nothing in the world I wanted half so much as to see that polecat swing. But, but if Jean gets hurt by it, yes, I... That's just it. Whatever must be, Jean comes first. Oh, kid. Don't worry, Brad. Molly, why couldn't I have found that masked man? <laughs> But at that same time, many miles distant... The young fellow, you say? Uh-huh, about 30. Had sandy hair, and he sure seemed mighty anxious to find you. Brad Wallace. That his name? I didn't know him. He was looking for me. He's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? That's what I'll have to find out. Thanks, stranger. Maybe you've done Brad a bigger favor than you know. Come on, Silver, come on! <laughs> Responding to his master's command, the Lone Ranger's great stallion raced across country with the speed of the wind. Nor did his pace slacken when they approached the camp where Tonto waited. Hurry, old fellow! Tonto! Into the saddle! Don't wait to break camp! Follow me! What's the matter? in trouble! Come on! Get him up, Scout! Get him up! We have a long way to go, Kimasami! Ride! Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scout! Get him up! Oh, Silver! Hooray! Two days later in Kirkwood, the courthouse was even more crowded than it had been on that earlier day when Brad Wallace was a prisoner. This time, however, Snyder was on trial. And his fate depended on Brad's testimony. Seated at a table close to the judge's bench, he talked in low tones with his lawyer. What are my chances, Booth? Do you want the truth? I'm not paying you to lie to me. Then I'll be frank. In some ways, we're fortunate. As a prosecutor, Drake isn't very clever. I've run up against him before. And you're lucky Judge Codden's presiding instead of Thornton. All right, let's have the rest of it. So those two, if it were just that confession of yours against you, I'd promise to get you off. But this fellow Wallace... Will convict me, huh? Oh, I'm not saying it's as bad as that. Who I... someday I'm going to find a lawyer who doesn't hedge. Come on, out with it. Can his testimony convict me or can it? Well, yes. Yes, I'm afraid it can. Why couldn't you have said that in the first place? As if you can tell me this. If Wallace doesn't testify, if he can't be found, what will happen? Snyder, do you think there's a possibility... You're not asking me, I'm asking you. Well, well in a case like that, I'd move to have the indictment quashed. Huh? And ask Condon to dismiss the charge. Oh. Well, would he? That depends. If Wallace could be located, the trial would be just postponed. But if he couldn't be found... Well? I think it's safe to assume the case would be thrown out. Probably Drake himself would ask for a dismissal. Even he should have sense enough to see that without Wallace, he might as well give up. If he went on, he'd just be making a fool of himself. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Snyder, if you're keeping something back... Forget it. Yes, but Shut I... up. Something's going to happen. The prosecution will call its first witness. My first witness is Brad Wallace, Your Honor. Brad Wallace, take the stand. Brad Wallace, you here? Wallace! The witness doesn't seem to be present. But, Your Honor... Your Honor! The prosecution has admitted that his case depends upon this fellow Wallace. Obviously, if Wallace can't be produced, the prosecution has no case. I move that the charges against my client be dismissed. You're all right, protest. Silence! Silence! Well, is this true or isn't it? Can you produce the witness? He, he ought to be here, Your Honor. I don't know what's happened to him. So I see. But I'll find him if you'll just give me time. I protest this man here. Quiet! This court grants the prosecution's request. Recess is declared until this hour tomorrow. The prosecution has until then to produce the witness in question. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, one moment. I warn you, however, that no unnecessary delay will be tolerated. If the witness is not found... Huh? The case will be dismissed. That's all. Well, it ain't fair. It ain't legal, gentlemen. What's going on? <laughs> Booth, you can cover all bets. I'm as good as free right now. I won't tell you where The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Molly Craig, who had been present at the courthouse, left hurriedly when court was recessed and hastened homeward. But when she opened the front door... Close the door, Molly. You, Bertha. Yes? Bertha, I thought you were someone else. Where have you been? Brad combed the country for you. He searched for a week and couldn't find a trace. I know. A cowboy told me. I came as soon as I heard. I'm so glad. Molly, where's Brad? Brad, I... I don't know. You're not telling the truth. But I... I just came from the courthouse. I was watching outside. I saw you there. Molly, out of everyone in that room, you were the only person I saw, with one exception, who didn't seem surprised that Brad had disappeared. No, you... You're mistaken. The exception was Snyder. I, I was surprised. I never dreamed... Don't. That. I... Can't you understand? I'm here to help Brad. Something's happened. He's in trouble. But I can't help you unless I'm told the truth. I... I promised I'd... I'd tell no one. Where Brad is? Yes. You gave your word. You must keep it. But there are things you can tell me. Is Brad hiding? Or have Snyder's men got him? He's hiding. Why? So... So he'll not have to testify. I see. Brad disappears. The case against Snyder falls through. Snyder goes free. I don't think Brad could have been bribed. Something else made him do this. What is it? They have Jean. What's that? Can't you see? Brad had to hide. You mustn't blame him. There was nothing else he could do. If he didn't, he, he might never see Jean again. That's why he wanted me. Yes. You thought I'd blame him for disappearing. We, we knew you wanted Snyder hanged. You'd, you'd worked so hard to catch him. Molly. Yes. If Brad had done anything else with his daughter's life in danger, then I would have blamed him. Then, then you're still on our side? Of course. Oh, thank heaven. But we haven't much time. Tell me everything you know. If this isn't cleared up when the trial begins tomorrow, we'll be too late. Several hours later, Molly reined in her horse where a thicket of brambles concealed the entrance to a small canyon. Whoa! Whoa, boy! Whoa! Whoa there! Brad! It's me, Brad. Molly! Brad, where are you? Oh. You alone? Brad, quick. Molly, what's up? Why'd you come here? I've seen the masked man. You have? He'll help us. You mean, you mean he'll find Jean for us? He gave me his word. Then, then I won't have to hide out no longer. I can go back to town. If he finds Jean, I can testify against Snyder and see the fool cat hung. Molly, we're... Wait, Brad. Huh? You'll have to stay here a little while longer while I came here. The masked man asked me to. I don't savvy. What's he got in mind? I don't know. I know only that whatever it is, it must be something dangerous. I guessed that much when he made me promise we'd do exactly as he told us. He'll be in danger? Yes. Molly, I... I feel like the most useless critter ever lived. The masked fellas already saved me from jail. It was him got the law after Snyder. Now he's going to save Jean. And whenever there's a risk, he runs it. I can't do nothing. But you can. What? He wants you to be at the trial tomorrow. But you said no, that... No, not inside, but outside where you won't be seen. Where you won't be seen, but where you can hear everything that goes on. He wants you to hide yourself between the livery stable and the courthouse. The fence will give you cover. How will I get there? Wait until just after the trial starts. Everyone in town will be inside. And then what? When you hear Snyder tell where Jean's been hidden, go after her. What? Brad, don't ask me how or why or anything about it. You know as much as I do. Just promise you'll follow his orders. If I didn't, I'd be the most ungrateful vomit that ever lived. Don't you worry, I won't miss. The following morning... Now, how do I look? Mm, that heap good disguise. And don't forget Snyder's met me, Tonto. Uh, but him not know you again. We'll hope not. You not worry. If he suspects my identity for just one moment, my plan will fail. Uh, here, Silver. Maybe better you take Scout. Silver won't give me away. He won't be seen. There's a place behind the courthouse where I can hide him. Oh. Yep. And remember your instructions, Kimosabe. Enter the courthouse only if I'm in danger. Uh. Come on, Silver. Come on. At 
noon that same day. Court is now in session. Your Honor. Well, I, uh... Your Honor, the prosecution's got a request to make. Yes? Yesterday, you said we could have 24 hours to find Brad Wallace in. We ain't. We're still looking, and we'll locate him, sure. If you'll just give us some more time. 24 hours weren't enough. Uh, how much time would be enough? Well, that's hard to say. This Maybe... is ridiculous. Does the counsel for the defense mean that this court is ridiculous? Uh, no, Your Honor. I meant no such thing. I meant that the prosecution's request is ridiculous. No way! Quiet! Go on. My client is both ready and willing to stand a fair trial. In fact, my client demands a trial that he may have a chance to clear himself of this preposterous charge of murder. Change preposterous. It is. You're making my client a scapegoat. No, 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 no. That's enough. enough. More of this undignified behavior, and I shall find you both in contempt of court. I only meant that if I we won't don't... warn you again. My apologies, Your Honor. I'm afraid I forgot myself. May I go on? Proceed. I wanted to say only this. My client desires a fair trial. He does not, however, wish to be made the victim of a shameless persecution. Isn't that rather strong language? What else can it be called when the prosecution, perfectly aware that it has no case, begs for one postponement after another, only in order to deny my client his freedom? Uh, I take it, then, that you're asking for this case to be dismissed. In accordance with the suggestion made by the court itself only yesterday, Your Honor. What have you to say? Your Honor... I don't want to postpone this trial anymore, and he says he does. But how in thunder can I prosecute the defendant when my chief witness ain't here? I understand your predicament perfectly. Then you will give me more time? Well, not so fast. I'm here to arbitrate, not to take sides. As the counsel for the defense has suggested, it is not fair to his client to refuse him an early and swift trial. But your honor... On the other hand, I would not care to handicap the prosecution by insisting upon a trial before it's ready. Therefore, I'll agree to another postponement on one condition. Yes? That you give me your word, the witness will be produced within a reasonable time. Mm. What do you call a reasonable time? Well, we'll say within three days. But I can't. No? We still ain't got no idea where to look for him. We might find him today, but maybe we wouldn't find him for another week. I, I couldn't tell you which. You're certainly not asking this court to keep the defendant in jail indefinitely without a trial, are you? Uh, sure, Honor, I, I... I see that you are. In that case, you leave me no choice. I shall One give moment. Hey, who are you? A friend of Brad Wallace. What's your business here? Justice. You can't... Brad Wallace is a witness who's disappeared. I'll tell you why he's not in court. You can't tell he's me. He's not in court because his daughter was kidnapped and her life threatened. If he testified against this fellow here... Snyder, get up. Perry said he's malicious. I'm here to get the truth out of him. Uh, arrest this man. Take this man into custody. Stand back. You're under arrest. Oh! Keep back. These guns aren't empty yet. Rush me and I'll let you have it. Get him, get him. Quiet, Snatter. My first shot will be for you. I won't stay. And as for the rest of you, keep quiet and keep your distance. You'll go to jail for this. When I'm captured. As I promise you will be. I'm not your prisoner yet. As a matter of fact, Snyder is my prisoner. I've heard your voice before. Who are you? I've answered that already. One of Brad's friends. You can't make Snyder, me Snyder, I'm not going to waste much time with you. You're not worth it and you're not fit to live. Tell where your men have taken Brad's daughter or I promise... I'll give you swift justice, even if the law won't. I don't know what you're talking about. I suppose you didn't threaten Brad if he testified. I didn't. I suppose you had nothing to do with Gene's capture. No, I didn't. I suppose Brad isn't hiding out right now because he fears if he doesn't, he'll never see his daughter again. How would I know? You won't answer, huh? How can I? Very well, we're leaving. Come along. Hey, what are you doing? Walk ahead of me. No, no, I won't. You've tricked the book law of the state, Snyder, but you can't trick gun law. Get going. Help me, somebody. He's crazy. He'll kill me. Stop him. Keep out of my way. Let go of me. Come on, you can't save yourself. If you harm that man, it'll be murder. You're forgetting your law, Judge. What do you mean? It's not murder unless you can find the victim. But I tell you... And you can take my word for it. Snyder won't be found. Oh, right outside, will you? No, 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 you can't. Hurry. You can't. Save me, somebody. Help me, please, please. That's enough of no, that. No, 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 please. Let me go. Don't kill me, please. Where's Jean? I, I don't know. Then tell No, no, wait. Change your mind? I... Well, she... Hurry. She's at the old Matthews place. <laughs> Hang back. No one touches this man. <laughs>
Order was restored to the courtroom, but not long after, another uproar broke out. There comes Brian. That's his youngin' with him. Who are them fellas he's holding the gun on? They must be Snyder's men. They ought to be lynched, too. Brian, yeah. hurry! Oh, oh, come, 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 fellas. Come on, keep going. Don't shoot. Stand out of the way, honey. Might have to drill these varmints. Uh-huh. Are you Brad Wallace? Yes, sir, I am. Who are these fellas with you? The skunks that Snyder hired to kidnap Jean here. Is that true? Call cop blast you. You think we won't? We'll tell plenty. Sure, Snyder hired us. Keep your fool mouth shut. After you talked and told where we were hiding, the blaze is with you. It's you that got us in this fix. Now you can take your medicine just like we'll have to. You'll testify that this defendant hired you to kidnap this girl and intimidate Wallace? If you mean where we testify against Snyder, you can lay your bottom dollar to it. Uh, young lady. Yes, sir? You can testify to the fact that these are the men who seized you and held you prisoner? Oh, yes, sir. And you, Wallace... We had trouble finding you. Do you think you can be depended upon to take the stand? Whenever I'm called. Good. Now then, that fellow who threatened the defendant's life, bring him here. Have you already he's disappeared? What? I guess I kind of took my eye off him when Brad showed up. You he mean to say escape. you permitted the escape of a man who threatened murder? Yes, but Your I... Honor. Well, I'd advise you not to pay any attention to what he threatened. And I suggest you save yourself the trouble of looking for him. It'd be a waste of time. What's that? He was throwing a bluff and he made it stick. That hombre never shot the kill in his whole life. Well, he would have killed me. I know he would. You weren't here. You didn't see him. I was outside. But I heard and seen them both. But I tell And if you... you had the sense to guess who he was, you'd never have talked. What? Snyder, for the second time, you run up again the Lone Ranger. What happened? <laughs> Just heard as a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Mm-hmm.